Good evening. Hello, I am Corey Merritt. I am the author and the illustrator of the book No Place for Monsters and the sequel book, School of Phantoms. And very quickly, I'm going to show you my process for creating the illustrations for the books because there are a lot of pictures in those books. I usually start off by writing out my ideas in a notebook. I write all the story and sometimes I get a little bored and I draw little characters like this little Muppet guy here. And once I have finished writing the story, I will type it up and then I will do the drawings. I draw all of my pictures on recycled Bristol board because I like using recycled paper. And I'm going to share with you one of the pages from book three, which I am working on right now. See, it's called Little Nobody. And here's Little Nobody right here, here's a ghost. I first sketch out the pictures with pencils and then I will trace over them with pens so they are darker. Sometimes I will use watercolor to add shading. So here are some illustrations from the second book, School of Phantoms. Here's a boogeyman right here. Kind of scary. Oh, here's Little Willow, who is my favorite little scary monster. Oh, here's a movie theater. And uh, if you look very closely, you might notice someone a bit unusual in the audience. Hmm. And finally, we have the Hackbender, a big scary swamp monster from the first book. Once I have finished the illustrations and all the pictures, I will scan them into my computer and I will fix them up in Photoshop and then I will send them to my publisher and my editor will look through and tell me what I need to change. And that's how I make the, the pictures in No Place for Monsters and the sequel books. Uh, thank you very much. I, I hope you enjoyed it and I, I hope those pictures didn't scare you too much. They're just a bit creepy. Have a good night.